Okay, let's continue exploring the world, the galaxy. Whoa, this is so much different compared to the Mass Effect one. My God, okay, say hi. Okay, let's go to Omega. Revisit Dota. <laughs> Lama tak tengok Dota. Wujud lagi ke game tu? <laughs> Ramai lagi kau orang main game tu Omega Ok let's start Serius lah ramai lagi Apa Ok that looks awesome Kena ada effort lah sikit nak boleh main game macam tu <laughs> Tak, tak ada masa lah sebelum ni Welcome to Omega You're new here aren't you? I can always tell Allow me to Oh, hello Mocklin I was just Leave Varget now Oh, of course Mocklin Whatever she wants <laughs> Mungkin lepas dia aku explore balik kot Dota tu Blasted scavengers Welcome to Omega Shepard <laughs> You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. <laughs> Auckland. What a pain in the ass. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Okay. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. Please. <laughs> Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, <laughs> we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Oof. Tried that, to leave me on a chase all over the systems. That got me hurt. Should have known better. These people always run to Omega. <laughs> What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. And there's always a catch. <laughs> I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Nothing ever yeah. simple, isn't it? Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. Mm -hmm. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company okay. wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Uh oh. Ouch. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Okay then. 
Travel to Zoria. Okay, we deal with that one later. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, just like that. That's close enough. Okay, I don't like people. Stand still. <laughs> I don't like people just point their guns to me like hell. Try it, and you'll be skating the inside of your cold. Yeah, show them, Shepard. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk? You get scared. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Simple enough. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. <laughs> Here, we entertain my preferences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the queen. So, what can I do for you? So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Well, at least she's Information good, is power. Yeah. Mundane things you can find yourself. Aria to look. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Okay, chill. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. Hey. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Let's get, let's get to it. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. All right. Well, there's that. Hello. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. <laughs> Process is solved, and you know what? Let's just. Yeah. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. Uh -oh. What money I had got stolen within a few days. So uh -oh. I decided to sell salvage parts. Uh -oh. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off the station. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. Mm. Well, no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. Okay, let's talk to Herod then. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. 
I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Marsh. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. <laughs> Marshmallows? I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't even check his kiosk and I just say his price is salting. Well, that's real me. Okay, that's wow, that's Okay, maybe we need to talk to Harry then. That price is so damn expensive. Oh, so you march. Okay. Let's check what you have. I might have something here for you. Not much. You might I want this tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. <laughs> sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. <laughs> no way in hell I want that. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. <laughs> Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. Fine. Fair enough. Let's see. Well, not so much, but yeah. Oh, there you are, Harry. Tentatively excited. Oh, damn. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? So we have to deal with the Alcor, huh? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain. Human. <laughs> I haven't even started. <laughs> Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Okay, that's easy enough. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Okay, what do you have here? Okay, let's go back. Talk to that quarry, shall we? Poor kid. Oh, yeah, this lawyer. I do that, You spoke to Harry. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. How much do let's, you need to get off Omega? Let's just give this quarry a chance. one thousand credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Yeah, I can afford that. Here you go, a thousand credits. Get out of here. <laughs> I. Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Okay, that's that. Well, quarantine seems nice though. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Matt Prophet sounds like a cult. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now <laughs> let me get ass. my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. 
I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Yep. Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She <laughs> hired us to keep anyone from imagine. entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. But the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Come on, don't be an ass. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. <laughs> it affects multiple species. Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. I see. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Okay, let's go renegade, shall we? Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. <laughs> That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. <laughs> Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Somehow playing Renegade in this game seems hilarious. You know what I mean? Paragons too I don't know. Too kind for my shepherd, you know. Okay. Let's go. Ahead. Uh, guess they just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Uh, hello. Why are you at? over there? Following. Right behind you. Yeah, I can no renegade. The terror victim. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> okay, your that's kind true. has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth like the blood from my sores. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> uh. Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. I need to find Morden Souls. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what 
I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people, and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> when I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Poor guy. I should go. Goodbye, human. Well, at least it's okay for now. Oh, we got an enemy. Enemies in front! Don't yell, you bitch. I tried to be sneaky over here. Damn this bitch. We done here. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Why are you still ducking, though? Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Mm-hmm. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. 
Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Mm. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but yeah. if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're gonna have to earn it. I'm taking out every Borcha and Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Okay. For now, you stay put. While I clear all these bitches. Sebab so, office tu gila sikit. Kalau lebih pada 6 bulan tak main, account automatic delete. Bodoh tu. Attention right! Going now. On my way. Pyro. He goes. God damn this. They have Baron too. Firing now. Okay, this is sucks. Affirmative. Sure thing. Sure thing. Territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Hmm. Not only Vorcha, I guess. They also got Kroken. And Varen, that piece of shit. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Unless you want to deal with those mechs. Huh. That mechs. 
that are causing me any harm. Professor, we're running low on some toxin. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. It causes cramping of the tail. Supplement with butemerol. Now there is butemerol. Got it. Senesine is the catalyst. Toxic to humans, not an option, not an option. <laughs> okay, so we now found Rogan Solis, and he's talked too much. Hello, Doctor Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses as bioweapon. No. For the love of God, take a breath. <laughs> I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But, must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. <sighs> Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, sure, let's go, right now, no strings attached. <laughs> Life is a negotiation. We all want, we all give, to get what we want. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. What the hell was that? Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forja territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. Okay. I find him. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Okay. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Hmm. <laughs> Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Ah, uh, I see. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Okay. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. <laughs> Nothing major. He seems calm. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. <laughs> Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Okay then. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Okay. See you soon, doctor. Ammo.
Damn, how many are they? Okay, I guess we're done here. Tough some bitches. Oh shit, there's more. Daniel. I work for Morton at the uh. clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God. You must think Batarians are stupid. Yep. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? Yeah, we had a deal. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Wow, that's rude. Thank you. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. <laughs> it's time. Stay at the clinic. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I guess we found it. Just need to take care of these guys. And I'm running low on thermal clip. Nice, Jacob. We're close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. Let's go then. Ah, you don't come here. What we shut bullshit. down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Screw I've you. I've had enough of this. Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. You're up. No, if I kill you. Uh 
Okay. So now we first. Cure's locked in. Cure. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Shit. Get over here. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Oh shit, I miss it. Fuck. One to go. Let's move. Shit, I miss it. See you there. Oops. Right in the eye. Yep. Shit, we got Krogan. Be it. Hostiles are clear. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. <laughs> Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Maybe. But we have a deal. So, yeah. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Well, I guess he, he got a point, kid, though. A bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Hmm. Yeah. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I... Hey. I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans. But they risked their lives to find me and bring me to safety. 
Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. I'm glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. Well, at least we finally found one nice materian deal. The others, well, not so much. There we go, boys. We recruited Dr. Morden Solis for the team. Examination of the Mega Plague Cure confirms that the Solis expertise can also use work on the Mega as leverage against Arya if necessary. Huh. Okay. What is this for? I guess we find out later. Huh. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Huh. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There is virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze <laughs> them and figure out how the like collectors that. did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Professor. We successfully recruited Dr. Morden Solis, the Professor. Okay, this is new. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Weapon upgrades. More than Omnitool. Already they get 20% power damage. More they build its own Omnitool and can make significant upgrades given the proper material. Okay. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, 
enjoy. Saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. <laughs> he just said... He just said occasional wet work. That sounds very casual. <laughs> similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions, covert, High risk, served under young captain named Kirihi, studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Huh. Captain Kirihi? I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> chest pounding. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. How? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly, and incorrectly considered, a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes really? to pre-industrial population growth levels. Huh. Okay. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Okay, let's see. Morden got it. More than got his upgrades. How about Jacob? Commander, can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. <laughs> Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People <laughs> will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Ship enhancement. Heavy ship armor, the sorry made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will have the ship holes together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Yes! Definitely need that. I don't want I don't want it have to happen to the last Normandy though. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, 
the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Eden Prime? You're there too? You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Really? Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. <laughs> Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Okay. See the bro, see the bro. What make you do? What make you do? Aku pun tengok lapar juga. Hey Joker. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. <laughs> you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything, it's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. <laughs> Thanks, I'll remember this. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? The Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Okay. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. <laughs> We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alright. See you, Joker. Ever think we'd be working for the bad guys? <laughs> what was that? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going <laughs> yep. to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Zaid Masani. Okay, let's talk to Zaid Masani. Okay. What do we have here? Thinking about past missions. Got a minute, you might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. 
Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Let you... let me go? <laughs> Sucking like I'm in his captive. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. Really? Call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Okay then. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. <laughs> well, at least he's a badass. Okay, let's talk to Miranda Lawson. Let's see if she's got something to upgrade. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Enhancement. Whoa, that's too many platinum. Okay, maybe later. Nominus mineral scanner upgrade. Planet scans. Planet scanning. Commander, oh yeah, what I can I do for now. you? We have to. You have a minute, Miranda. The for the, of course. For the I'm just finishing an resources. operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Hmm. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Yes. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe Why you should, should do the same for us. <laughs> what did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. Mean? He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. Uh -huh. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. Damn. That's rough. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Really? Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. 
That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Huh. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His oh. Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Okay, that seems weird. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. <laughs> thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Well, just like she was born in test tube. Hello, Doctor. I got a surprise for you. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. <laughs> Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. Mm. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolick Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. <laughs> Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Okay, for you, Doctor, yes. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, I'm drunk. And she's asleep. Well. Okay, this is disorienting. Come on, stop. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get drunk. Nope, not in real life. Okay, I guess we're done here. Is there anything else, Kelly? No messages for you, Commander. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That would be all. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, let's save here first. Oh. Uh. Okay.
Okay, let's see. What do we have? Recruit Archangel. Um. Okay, let's deal with that later. Let's go. Scan the planets for resources. Scan the result rich. Okay. We've been spotted. Oh shit. How the hell? How the hell I missed that? Miss a ah. Thought I was harmless, did you? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Excellent targeting. Thank you, more than good. Thank you. How the hell did I miss that? I miss again! God damn it. I suck. Just die. Thank you. Damn. I miss a lot. <sighs> that 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 doesn't work very well. <laughs> I guess these are the agent. I did not trust Silvers. Let's just give to Airlines. Data uploaded to Airlines Command. One of twenty? Wow. Okay. Alright, let's find it. Ah, this bring bad memories. Man. What a nightmare. The wreckage all over the place. Wow, this used to be a bridge. What a disaster. Well, at least I got a new ship. Much better. Too bad it's Cerberus. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Okay, I'm gonna go to the 
Okay, 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 Margaret. Thanks for joining. Ah, tak apa. It's okay, it's okay. But have fun, bro. Thank you for joining the stream, man. Nanti kita roger-roger balik, okay? I am proud to say Kurun die for any member of this crew regardless of what world they were born on yeah oh rest in peace dude one more one more oh okay then Let's put the modem in here. <sighs> How the hell Shepard bring that? <laughs> what logic is that? But, well, well, I know it's a video game, but you know, sometimes you got this question, you know. Okay, let's go back to the normal day. And we are the probe. Great. Okay, this scanning thing taking too much time. So maybe I'm going to do that off stream. Because this is going to take too much time, but I'm going to finish up this star cluster. And then we figure it out. Let's go check it out. Oh my god, that's so much. Am I going to scan all of them? All of them? Oh man. Look at that. So many planets that I need to scan. Oh my god. Yeah. I probably should scan this off stream. So you guys don't have to handle this. Watch this over and over again. But yeah, that's all for today. Uh, because this getting planet is taking too much time so I will do that off stream so you don't have to deal with that hello again hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please leave a comment down below like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and I see you guys very soon